In the previous videos, we took a look at the concept of the semiconductor and how the semiconductor is made, as well as the semiconductor ecosystem. Today, let's talk about the system semiconductor, which became very important in semiconductor industries. Unlike a memory semiconductor that saves data, a system semiconductor is a semiconductor that calculates and manages digitized electronic data, just like what a brain does in our body. A system semiconductor is used in various areas, including smart devices, AI, autonomous vehicles, smart home devices, and 5G networks. There are so many different kinds of system semiconductors, including microcomponents, analog IC, logic IC, and optical semiconductor. Let's talk about the popular ones that appear on the news often. The CPU, or central processing unit, which is considered the brain of the computer. A CPU controls the operation of all parts of the computer. Then, what acts as the brain in smartphones or tablet PCs? It is a mobile application processor, or mobile AP. It can both function like a CPU and perform all chipset functions like controlling other accessories. A mobile AP's main functions include a CPU, a GPU to process graphics, an NPU for AI, a modem for 5G communication, and an ISP to process photos. It is basically a system on chip. It can operate the necessary OS and applications and controls various devices or interfaces with one chip. It is indeed a technology-intensive semiconductor. This small smartphone can do as much work as a computer thanks to its mobile AP. As electronic devices are getting smaller and smaller, it is becoming more important. Have you ever imagined a semiconductor that works like a human brain? Yes, it is highly likely in the near future because there is a neural processing unit, or NPU, a semiconductor that works in very much the same way as the human brain. This is considered the future of semiconductor industries. The structure of an NPU is different with the original semiconductor structure. Rather, the NPU is made up of countless numbers of nerve cells and synapses that transmit and receive signals to and from each other simultaneously, just like the human brain. When it comes to AI technology, the NPU is essential for AI applications. Deep learning algorithms in AI need parallel processing technology to handle multiple operations simultaneously, in real time. Furthermore, with enhanced NPUs, electronic devices will connect to each other and operate based on each user's lifestyle or activity, just like what we can see in sci-fi movies. The ultimate goal of NPU is to operate at the level of a human brain to make our lives more convenient. Sensors and electronic devices act like human senses. They collect data and recognize situations. We use sight the most out of our five senses. Similarly, an image sensor is one of the most used sensors. The image sensor works in the same way as the human eye that transmits visual information received through the eyes to the brain through the optic nerve. When it comes to other sensors acting like human senses, there are iris sensors and fingerprint recognition sensors, pressure sensors, sound sensors, gas detection sensors, pH sensors, and more. Now, let's take a look at the display of electronic devices. Semiconductors are needed here too. A display driver IC, or DDI, is a semiconductor that operates displays and other similar devices by converting the digital signal to an analog format to display the video on the screen. And a PMIC supplies and manages the power for each function of the mobile phone. As the human heart controls blood flow, the PMIC supplies the accurate amount of power for each use. Security solutions are also essential system semiconductors, such as SIM cards for smartphones and secure elements which protect and manage the user's personal information safely. Today, we talked about the system semiconductors we can see in our daily lives and their specialized roles. In the next video, we will learn about each system semiconductor in detail. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.